Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kelvin here. For this episode, we have Ming Fong from Sydney. Hello, hi everyone. Yeah, so Glad thanks, to be here. <laughs> thanks for joining this interview. Can you give a quick intro about yourself? Like, what do you do other than that? Okay, so uh, I'm currently the head of Sydney. Before that, I was actually head of marketing uh, for Sydney also. Um, Prior to all this, I'm actually a bit in the corporate world, mm. uh, for, uh, doing data analysis at Bloomberg. And then I move on to be a professional trader. And at the side, I actually love to DJ, and I DJ at some of the clubs sometimes. Uh, it used to be Selavi, and uh, now it's just like uh, probably doing some events here and there. Wow, okay, okay, okay. So, um, I want to talk about your promotion. <laughs> so, when, when you were promoted to head of CD, right, were you like, Yes, finally, <laughs> that guy is gone. <laughs> not so much, not so much. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I won't even call it a promotion, right? Uh, it's just more of a bit of a movement. Mm. Uh, so as you guys know, the co-founders of Sili, which is Kenneth and Timing, uh, both of them are somebody that I actually respect a lot because mm. they basically taught me a lot of things uh, during my time at Sili. Right. Uh, they have decided the, to go on and solve more real world problems um, <laughs> by venturing out and looking for new opportunities. Right. Uh, and new problems to solve. So I think uh, coming into this role is more of a lot more responsibilities, uh, but it's also very exciting because uh, ultimately, uh, Kenneth and Timing themselves have uh, built a very strong foundation for Sili as a company. And then like, uh, now it's really up to myself and the team to, to bring this forward. Okay, I'm sure you will do well. <laughs> Thanks for the trust. <laughs> well, was, was it something like that you wanted to do or, or did, did they <laughs> like throw this onto you <laughs> all of a sudden? Uh, okay, to be honest, I, I love marketing, which is okay. why uh, you'll probably see me in some of the marketing talks. But mm. uh, I've, I always thought that my route will be a lot into marketing. But uh, I'm somebody who loves Sili a lot because I've been yeah. with Sili since uh, they were six months into the, the, uh, the whole entire journey. Mm. So, if you were to ask me, I think uh, whether it's something I want to do, I think as long as it's associated to Sili, I'm more than happy to take it up. Um, yeah. That's I think most of us are very excited for what's to come. Like, if you ask any person who's, who is interested in finance, right, right. They, most of them, I think 100% of them would know who is, which is Sili. Right. Like, it's, it's my go to place for resource whenever I'm looking for information. <laughs> I, I think you are being too humble because no, serious, serious. there's a lot more rich that we there's a lot more Singaporeans and more people out there that can really mm. uh, use some of the knowledge that uh, either Sealy or Kevin Lynn's investing is actually <laughs> advocating. Yeah, so I think uh, moving forward, uh, we to be honest, we are still trying to really reach out to as many Singaporeans as mm. possible, and ultimately we want them to make better, smarter financial decisions and also. Uh, allowing to them to understand more about some of the financial products that actually uh, is best suited for their needs. Um, is there any like concrete plans on what's, what's next for Sili? Uh? Mm. So I think Sili recently launched uh, our new reward system. La. So now when you contribute on Sili, you actually get rewarded uh, with vouchers. I think we want to double down on that community piece. Uh, we feel that a ground approach for personal finance is very important to everyone. Uh, but on top of that, we'll continue to uh, look at what's next in the content space. Uh, we have our silly comic, so if you are not following us on Instagram, do so. Uh, that one, we actually take a spin on more heartfelt topics and uh, to really look at some of the perspective that Singaporeans are feeling. And other than that, our main editorial content will still focus a lot on uh, various uh, personal finance related topics that can really benefit Singaporeans. Uh, last but not least, I think next year, uh, we are going to have a yearly personal finance festival. So, uh, really looking forward to that also. I think it will be bigger and better than before. Correct, but this year <laughs> you are on board with us, so I really hope to have you on board next year again. Uh, hopefully, you, you might be. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I want to move a bit towards your personal stuff. Okay. So, going through your career history, right, you, were, you were mentioned earlier just now, you were at Moody, Bloomberg, PropNet as a trader, yep. uh, Dollars and Cents, and now Sydney. So what's the reason that you are so interested in finance related stuff? Uh? Uh, for some reason when I was in JCU and I took the mods on uh, Econs, yeah, I, I love it. Like, like that. Okay, if, I'll, I'll be full transparent here. I think nobody knows this. If you look at my A-level results, uh, it's all D except Econs. Is, uh, that's the only subject I score A because my <laughs> whole entire two years, I just love that topic so much that I just forgo the rest of the, the subject. So I think that's 
when I realized maybe like uh, finance is really something that I'm very very interested in, and I decided to go ahead with uh, pursuing that degree uh, in uni also, and then which is why it, it kickstart this entire chain of uh, personal finance and finance uh, as a career. Right, 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 and and you have been doing quite well since since the start. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably lucky here and there also. <laughs> yeah, probably I believe some of it is luck. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Quick pause. With Mumo, you can now easily keep track of your favorite company's portfolio. Here's how. In the app, go to Markets. Scroll down a bit and you will see institutional tracking. Here, you will see some familiar names like Warren Buffett, Gong Gong, Berkshire Hathaway and Cathy Mama's Art Invest. Then, if you check them out, you will be able to see all their recent purchases and portfolio. So, because Mumu is celebrating their 10th anniversary now, if you sign up using my link down below, deposit any amount, you will receive $10 cash. Invest $100 into Mumu Cash Plus and you will get another $20 cashback coupon. And deposit $2,700 or more to receive a free stock worth up to one free Apple share. This deal is only available for a limited time only. So be sure to get it before the offer ends. With that being said, let's get back to the video. For you personally, since you are on this personal finance platform, right? How do you manage your own personal finance stuff? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think day to day, you will realize there's so many things and so many methods out there to handle personal finance. Right. So my method may not be the best for everyone, mm -hmm. but for myself, I'm a spendthrift. Yeah, so I'm the kind that if I have a dollar in a bank, right, sometimes I will just spend it. Okay. Uh, because I, I love to eat, I, I'm a foodie and uh, I actually like, uh, I'm sure some of you know I like white shoes. So you look at my shoes, they are usually white in color. <laughs> yeah, but to curb that, I actually develop a automated habit where every uh, year, every month the, when the salary comes in, right, a huge portion of it will be divided into various uh, bank accounts or brokerage accounts or uh, into my regular share saving plans account so that I make sure that the money is out somewhere where I cannot touch them immediately uh, <laughs> before I can even spend it. And then for the rest of the money, recently I've been a bit more mindful, so I've been tracking my expenses lah, just to make sure that I don't go overboard. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, when you're talking about investment, right, what are you investing in? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a very good question this year. Uh, well, I mean, I used to invest a lot in stocks, uh, mainly okay. tech stocks, okay. um, and even like ARK ETS back then. Mm. Uh, so my, I'm, I'm usually more like a dumb, I use a dumbbell method. Lah. So a huge portion will be on the safer side of things. Uh, the safer side of things includes uh, various uh, ETFs mm. and Singapore saving bonds. Oh. I, I, I'm actually a huge fan of that, that product. I put a lot in Singapore savings bonds or various short-term endowment plans. Wow, okay. Yeah, okay. then on the other front, where on the riskier side, we have all the stocks, tech stocks. Uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, <laughs> NFTs. Yeah, I, I, I dabbled into NFTs a little bit also. And those are more like uh, money that I know that mm. um, even if I lose it, then mm. I still have my the other side of the safer assets. Right, right. What, what's the allocation ratio like for the uh, more riskier stuff? Uh? Mm. It used to be a lot more. I think during COVID, I actually like increased that allocation because Everything is doing quite well, so it, it tilted a little bit to 70-30, but right now I'm balancing it back to 50-50. Oh. Uh, so some of the profits back then, I actually took it out and put it back into safer assets. Wow, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Most of my stuff is still in risky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my money is still there. <laughs> Just now you mentioned about NFT. Uh. Um, in one of your earlier interviews, you, you were saying that you are looking into Web3 space. Right. Um, what are your thoughts on Web3? Uh? Hmm. I think I don't know, when I first dabbled into Web3, right, I just bought an NFT to try and then, um, you know, connecting your crypto wallet okay. and, and things like MetaMask. Mm. And I realized that it's a whole new world. It's so interesting, right? And everything is uh, pretty, pretty seamless. So, uh, which is why I believe Web3 can potentially be the uh, future of internet. Uh, of course, there's a lot more work that needs to be done after all the, all the saga that's going yeah. on. But uh, the future is definitely there. The technology is definitely going to enable a lot of things and improve a lot of uh, uh, processes that, that we are that we are working on what we are doing right now. So I strongly believe it will in some form or the other be the future of internet but whichever form right now is still very much subjected to the people in the space building things and the regulations of the government. 
So do you have like one Web3 project that you're, you, know, you are looking at? Uh? Okay. The, okay, the, the thing is, uh, I'm a bit more like hipster hipster. Uh, so I, <laughs> the, the, some of the Web3 projects that I'm on is actually like very uh, hipster. So it's not very widely adopted. It's not your, your board ape collection or anything. Mm. There's one that I'm on is called Peace4, which is a gaming NFT. Okay. It is actually a social experiment where in the form of like scissors, paper, stone, right? Every time you choose one of those and every week, if you win, you move up to level two. And then you move up to level three subsequently if you win. But if you lose, um, there will be some options whereby you either uh, uh, you die, so your, your NFT gets burned from the system, mm. or there are certain things that you can do to revive it after it is dead. So it's a very socially uh, experimentation based uh, right, game. Right, 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 right. Yeah. It's, it's for um, it's for fun lah. It's not yeah. for earning money lah. Are you in any me. NFTs? No, no, no I, I'm not. Are you looking in the space? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Maybe one day you can create your own NFTs. <laughs> I'm not. I got, I got burned in the DeFi space, uh, Anchor Protocol. Those who knows, you know. That's uh, unfortunate, yeah. So, after that, I haven't really looked into it because I I haven't found a project that I like. So, I went to, into SC Infinity. SC Infinity mm. isn't doing so well. After that, uh, I think it, it wasn't mature enough yet. Then, I also looked into some lottery savings account oh wow so so you, you dump money in they don't give you interest but every week they choose from a, this pool that this is the winner he will win all the money from that's generated from all, all the accounts mm. so it's a lottery based savings account oh wow uh, how's that doing that's not doing well <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean I, I didn't put in a lot uh. so other than that i i haven't I, i'm not yet i don't I don't have conviction in, in NFT yet. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there's definitely too many projects out there. Yes, right? and, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And like I, I can't find the value in it yet. So until yeah. I do, I, right now I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I think the the it has been more and more challenging to really cut away the fluff and understand what exactly the, the these projects are doing. Uh, than face value itself, like, yes, in recent yes, days. Yes. Yeah. Since graduate until now, you had a very long and fruitful career life. <laughs> Have you ever thought about like when are you going to retire and um, and what's your ideal retirement life? Uh? Correct. I don't, I don't even find it. <laughs> I, it. It's long for sure, like a lot of years of working. But fruitful, I think there's a lot more to, to, right. to uh, be there, la, to okay, really okay. get there. Um, retirement is subjective. La. I know uh, some people mean to some people, it means like being financially independent mm. and not having to work, and yes. they can have the freedom to do anything they want. But on the other hand, for me myself, I also thinking like if I don't, if I'm able to leave my job now, right? Then what's next? What's the next challenge? Right? I think the mindset will be very different um, from what it is right now. You right now, at least I feel challenged every day that I want to wake up and do something. Like right, at least right. for yourself, you wake up and do something that you like. But if retirement, then it's about like stopping all these things. Then it's a bit different uh, it feels like you don't know what to do every day yeah so at least for me i think retirement for me looks like uh, of course financially independent mm. um, where our portfolio can generate enough income for us to <laughs> to, okay. to to not work that hard but uh, of course on the other hand uh, still have a bit of hobby or certain business that you continue to run also that you were doing some coaching online right um, adp list adp it? list, ADP yes, list. Yes, yes, correct, yes, correct, yes. correct. So is yeah. it something that you are very passionate about, right? To help others, other people? Okay, yeah, so I have been... Okay, because I'm in growth and digital marketing, and that's my background, and yeah. uh, I've been quite keen on uh, talking to startups and understanding their problems, and also uh, maybe giving my point of view mm. to some of their business marketing initiative, or as an individual, what they should be looking out for. Because, I mean, uh, back then, when I was in started with Sidley and even dollars and cents um, the the such resources is not really readily yeah, available really scarce, yeah. mm, mm. so I think right now at this stage maybe uh, what I can do is at least to inject a bit more of this uh, say sharing mm. back into the community la. I think there's a lot of younger bunch out there doing good things and uh, it'd be quite wasted if the things that are stopping them is uh, somebody to come in and share their experience with them mm. yeah. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe that's your retirement life. Correct, huh? correct. <laughs> maybe uh, that's also the same reason you're sharing your investments inside with all of us. No, mine is self fulfilling. The reason I, sh I started this whole YouTube is not to earn money. Hmm. 
it, nor is it to help people. It's just me trying to when my frustration. Okay. Because when I try oh. sharing, um, that, okay, this bank is giving me this high interest. My friends don't really care to listen. They say, hey, I don't, I, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Why are you talking money to me? Correct. So, so I, I, I wanted to share. So, there's, so YouTube is my outlet to share. Oh, wow. So, yeah. whether people listen to it or not, I don't care. <laughs> so, it's a little bit like a journal. La. Yeah, it's, it's like my journal. Correct, and, correct. And, and I get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's my motivation. La. It's just to share. Mm. But I, I don't need people to listen. Oh, <laughs> okay, but right now there's definitely a lot of people listening to you, uh, and so. those insights are definitely very insightful for most of us here. Okay, thanks. Yeah. thanks. Even my whole entire team. Yeah, huh? I was telling them that I'm having an interview with you, and they are very excited. Oh, <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> okay, okay. So for the final question, uh, what's your advice for like someone who is who just graduated, like in their twenties? Um, what's your advice to help them get ahead in life? Uh? Oh, I think this is difficult. <laughs> um, everyone route is different, right? Okay. Uh, maybe from a first from a pers- personal finance point of view is that I'm not sure you notice, but there's a lot of get quick rich uh, mm. system out there. Uh, I'm not saying all of them are not legit, but I think maybe you want to deep dive a little bit more before you jump into this kind of thing because they can actually set you back a few years in terms of uh, financially, lah. <laughs> and and the worst part is if you get. Uh, if you're not mature enough, where early stage you get burned by some of these products, you will not invest in anything mm. ever again, which is definitely not the best uh, thing that can happen to you if you want to uh, be financially savvy. So I think that's that. Try to, uh, but of course, start investing what you can potentially lose and start dipping your toes in the water. I think that's very important. Then to just, theory is one thing, right? That doing it is another one. Then I think for individual is to, I think this is a good time, like, there is in the past there's a je- more more discrimination or more right, right, right. stigma on what type of jobs are more respectable like doctors will be respectable and, and lawyers will be no offense but i think now i think everything is more on the equal uh, spectrum where yes. i can be a designer and and you you'll still be highly respected in the whole entire market uh. so i think Go Respect, ahead and find respected something. versus earning money. Earning money is different. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, <laughs> but I think you, you have equal opportunity to reach out to people through the internet. Uh. Yes, that's one thing for sure. And yeah. also like um, you have more leeway uh, to pursue mm. things that you really believe in. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Of course if you're not uh, you feel that you, you you need more income, you can always tune into each channel. Or check out silly. So I think that's all for this interview. If I, I'm not sure if you have not checked out <laughs> Silly, what's the reason? <laughs> do, do check that out, like, they are post, they post about three to four times a day, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, so they have a lot of stuff, uh, teaching you how to invest, all the basic stuff, like, or, you, or even complicated topics. So do check that out. They have uh, Instagram now. Instagram, Telegram. Telegram? Oh yeah, uh, Telegram. Yeah. And YouTube. But though it's not that active yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be competing in the space yet. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and, and most popular is their website. La. So, do check them out. That being said, I think that's all for today. Okay. Bye. Thanks for having me. Yay. Bye.